Hey guys, it's Danny. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am sharing a DIY envelope mini album. So over in the Crafty Club, um, a little while ago, I guess, I had asked the members if there was any kind of videos in particular that they wanted to see. And my friend Brooklyn had asked to see an envelope flipbook using envelopes that you can find like anywhere, right? Like just straight up plain old regular <laughs> store-bought find them anywhere kind of envelopes. So I loved that idea and instead of doing it like a flip book though, I really felt like doing a mini album. So that's what I'm doing today. You can see that I'm just using some random envelopes that I got in the mail um, from like Bank of America. I think there's one from like Capital One. Um, so I'm just repurposing them, you know, because everybody gets junk mail, right? And sometimes that junk mail comes in envelopes. So free envelopes. Hello. Yes, please. So <laughs> that's what I'm doing today. So as you can see, I folded them in half after gluing them closed. And then, yeah, so those will become the pages. And right here, I'm just cutting down all of the panels to put onto the envelopes because... I don't know, the envelopes aren't very cute, so, and I wanted to use some of the fun papers that are in my stash for this month, so I'm just cutting the papers down so that they will fit onto the envelopes. Now these envelope, like, halves, I guess, are pretty much all different sizes, so, like, these two pieces came from the same envelope, so those two pieces are the same size. Um, the same goes for the other two like envelopes. So the pages are all going to be different size, but I'm totally fine with that. I think it's kind of fun that way. And if you're really intentional about making something not perfect, then it works. So if you're like ever stressed that something's not perfect, just be really intentional about it and it'll turn out just fine, I promise. So here I am marking the holes where I'm going to add some little mini book rings. This punch is from We Are Memory Keepers. If you guys are interested in any of the supplies or tools that I'm using in today's video, I will leave links to them down below. Just click on show more and everything will populate and you can go from there. So I'm using the first, I guess these two are the covers that I'm working on right now. Um, and I just use them as a template to go ahead and punch holes in all the rest of the pages. And when I was punching all of the holes, I made sure not to punch them on the open end of the pages because I wanted to be able to slip in photo mats or other things like that into the interior pockets. And here you can see that I'm using a circle punch to do like little indented like cutout things on the open sides of the pages. That way you can easily see the photo mats or cards or whatever I put in there so that whoever receives this will know that there's stuff inside the pages, you know? So here I'm just going ahead and making sure that cards and things will fit and kind of deciding which cards I want in which little pockets. So for this one, I think I go with that big today one. I'm not sure. We'll find out here in a second <laughs> which one I go with. No, I actually think for the first page, I go with that amazing card. Um, but yeah, so right now I'm just going through all these different cards, just figuring out which ones I wanted to use. And you guys know I struggle so hard with these chipboard pieces, so I'm going to use them as little pull tabs throughout the book. Yeah, and I'm just using the page itself kind of as a template on where I need to cut, because I don't want to measure. Measuring blows. <laughs> Measuring's no fun. And it all seems to work out okay because it fits in there perfectly. And I am going to add a little tab though in the form of a little chipboard cloud, which I really love how this turned out. Um, I just stapled them on and then when you slide it in, it, later on you'll see what I'm talking about, but the, like, the little cloud kind of hangs over the front of the page and I think it's so super cute. I love that whole idea and I really love how it turned out. So here you can see what I'm talking about. Like it just kind of, you know, p pokes over the edge. I think it's really cute, right? I don't know. So if you guys want to try that in your projects, highly recommend. I think it's adorable. Yeah, and right now I'm just going to go ahead and put the rings on for this little mini album. I thought it might be easier just to keep everything kind of contained within the book as I worked on it. Um, usually you guys know I like to keep the panels separate and then adhere them last. It's like my last step of a project. But for this one, I thought it would get confusing since the envelopes were different sizes and I wanted the book to kind of flow a little bit better. So that's why I went ahead and did the panels. Usually, like I said, I don't do that. Um, I prefer to work on the panels and then adhere them down, but yeah. So 
just to keep my mind kind of organized, I decided to go ahead and do it this way this time, and I think it turned out fine. I really like that I was able to kind of see the flow of the book as I was going and not get confused and not have like two similar pages like open at the same time right next to each other. And you guys will probably notice as we continue on through this video that I'm using a lot of the cut apart cards um, from the big 12x12 papers that I'm working with this month as kind of die cuts because the collection kits didn't come with any die cuts. Um, so I'm using the journaling cards a lot as well as images that I've cut off from other journaling cards. Like that little photo frame is from a journaling card as is this little like viewfinder thing. So I'm just trying to be creative with how I'm using the things available to me because you guys know I didn't pull any extra die cuts for this month, right? So if you've seen my stash video, you know that. You know I'm working with like really limited things this month, which is a challenge but in a good way and I feel like this project came together really fun and I'm happy with how it turned out so it's fine. Um, I'm just used to being able to work with a lot more kind of options. So this was a challenge, but like I said, it was a challenge in a good way. And I totally could have made it way easier on myself if I'd remembered that I had those two 12 by 12. Well, no, I guess it's actually four 12 by 12 cardstock, like sticker sheets from these collections. But I totally spaced this whole time and didn't use a single sticker for many of those. Isn't that insane? I don't know what's wrong with me. But it's okay. It turned out fine because I actually wound up using some stickers for my stash here in a little bit. And you guys will see that I'm trying to use up a lot of scraps as I go. Again, to kind of build up layering and stuff since there weren't a lot of die cuts to choose from. So, if anything, this little book proves that you can use literally whatever you have. Like, just random stuff, random cut aparts, you know, pieces of scraps, stuff you never use, like chipboards. I struggle so hard, you guys. I do. I really, really do. But I actually used some in this project and I love how they turned out. Um, yeah, but like all the way down to like junky envelopes <laughs> that you get in the mail, you know? You can just use what you have and it will all come together and it will be fine. Yeah. So this page I really love. It's like a flippy bit, which I totally dig. Um, yeah, I double sided that little flippy card thing and I'm just putting on some more little die cut things I cut out and just use some of my favorite washi. I love that striped washi so much. And I thought this little puffy love sticker was perfect to put on there. Yeah. So this, like I mentioned, is a mini album. I'm not going to put any pictures or any writing or any kind of personalization in this um, because I'm actually, you guys, going to give this away to one of you. I thought that would be so fun. I haven't done a giveaway in a little while and I wanted to leave this little mini album blank so you guys could put in your own little pictures and stuff and fill it up with whatever you want. So there's plenty of room for like little, I guess, two by two photos or something, or if you have like a little Instax mini or whatever those little small like sticker picture printer things are out right now. I don't even know. Like I try, I can't look at that stuff or else I'll want it. Um, but yeah, I mean, you could totally load this thing up with all of your own little images. There's room for journaling and stuff. And yeah. So right here, I am just cutting out a mat um, that is the same size as the front, like, photo pocket mats for the back, what is it, page. <laughs> that way, um, yeah, I was using it as, like, a template, I guess, is what I'm trying to say in words that are not going well. Yeah, and I guess I was going to use it for that other pocket? I don't know. It's all kind of a blur. But at the very end, you guys will see the whole album all together. Just a real nice, calm flip through so you can see what's going on and stuff. Yeah, so I guess that one's going in there. I don't know. You guys, this thing took me a while. So this whole project, you guys, okay, so let me know if you're a slow crafter or a fast crafter, okay? Let me know down in the comments because I kind of consider myself like a quick crafter. Like, I don't know, pocket letters don't take me that long anymore. You know, there's just certain things that don't take me very long and I usually don't take a long time to make decisions about things, but for this project, it took me at least a couple of hours, which for me is a long time. Um, but I, at the same time, I guess, you know, I was working with like a lot of scraps and things and I had to build the book itself. So maybe that's not slow. I don't know. You guys tell me down below. Okay. Like if you're a quick crafter or not, 
Um, cause I'm really curious, like, uh, maybe for like a pocket letter, like what is the average time it would take you to make like a pocket letter of average quality for you? Like how long would that take you guys? I'm really curious. Like for me, like a just straight up regular, you know, pocket letter with just the regular kind of cards and things that I do and stuff maybe takes me like 30 to 40 minutes which I think is really fast, right? But maybe I'm delusional, I don't know. Um, but that's why like sometimes my videos are so quick, right? Because it's like once I kind of cut out the decision making, you know, hem and hawing and whatever that I do sometimes, um, you know, and then speed it up a little bit, you know, it cuts it way down. It's, it's shorter because it just doesn't take me very long, you know, in my opinion, to like craft and stuff. So it definitely makes me curious about your guys' crafting and stuff and how long things take you. So definitely let me know down below because I'm nosy AF and I, I need to know. So I need to know if I'm a crazy person or not, okay? So make me feel normal, you guys, okay? Please, please, okay, yes. Um, so anyway, at this point, I am starting to add washi to things. You may have noticed that I didn't really add a lot of washi at the beginning of this mini album because I wanted to get all the major elements down and then I thought okay well then I'll go back through and I'll do the washi right and then once I'm done with the washi I can go back through and add like any stickers and then once I do that then I can go in and add the enamel dots like for me that's just it's easier and quicker to do it that way in like batch steps kind of I guess I don't know and then my mind only has to focus on like one thing at a time right like I only have to focus on washi so I don't need to worry about other stuff yet and I kind of work in a decreasing importance of value so you know I made the pages because you have to have the pages and then I added on the cards and things right and then I did the little panels that slide in for photo mats and then I did the washi and you know and I just kind of go in decreasing order and decisions I make, you know, in one step will influence the decisions in the step following. I think that makes sense. I don't know. But for me, it's easier to just do it that way instead of trying to like do a whole page, like a whole panel from start to finish, you know, with the papers and the cards and the die cuts and the washi and the stickers and the blah, 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 blah. You know, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Let me know if you guys do the same thing. But it just, it's what works for me, and I figure maybe if I talk about it and stuff and tell you guys kind of the process that I go through, maybe it will help you in some way, or maybe you'll find it interesting, or maybe you'll laugh at me, which is totally fine. I laugh at me too. It's not a problem. It's fine. We could still be friends. <laughs> um, so anyway, you'll see. I mean, I do, like throw in some things here and there like I forgot to decorate this card so I had to go back and do it so stuff like that kind of pops up inevitably but for the most part I kind of have a system down so yeah let me know if you guys are the same right so yeah and here like see I'm gonna do it again so I've got everything done that I want to do now it's time to work on the wood veneer so I'm gonna do all the wood veneer for the whole book all at once like it just makes sense to me Anyway, so this is a mini album, so I thought it would be totally appropriate to put a little wood veneer camera on the front. I did make sure to leave room though, so whoever gets this can put like stickers or something on there and kind of personalize the front of the album. Yeah, another little wood veneer camera, super cute. I think these ones with the little hearts in the middle are from Freckled Fawn, as are these like little crayons and pencil wood veneers which I've had in my stash for forever so I'm super glad that I was able to use them here you can see I've moved on to the sticker phase of this mini album so I'm trying to use up all these little puffy hearts uh, where are these from I think maybe studio calico I want to say because they look a lot like those other ones that are still in that little clear case at the top of the screen so I'm thinking maybe they're from studio calico maybe from like one of their little grab bag kit things that they do every once in a while which by the way if you guys ever see that they're like having one of their little like mystery box sale things you better hop on it because I've gotten a lot of really fun stuff out of those like these little arrows I I swear I think these came from the same little sheet and I cut them down for some reason I don't know I love that cloud that cloud makes me so happy 
yeah so again just trying to use up some more of my stash you guys know I love a good empties video at the end of the month so I'm trying to use up these little arrows because I used up those little hearts uh, I think that might be the last thing we actually use up though in this video I have this whole brand new sheet of these little puffy stickers so I'm gonna try to use up some of those and at this point the book is starting to get kind of full as far as die cuts and stickers and you know pieces of paper and washi and stuff so it's time for the enamel dots and this is the last thing I do I put in the enamel dots wherever I think they'll look nice and they'll fit and they'll coordinate so I'm using a lot of those kind of clearish silver glittery ones I'm using up those like corally red ones um, I think I'm putting down some mint ones here and there and I do move the book up here in just a moment I know it's kind of cut off at the bottom of the screen. I'm so sorry. I was in the zone the enamel dot zone and I didn't realize but here see didn't have to wait too long. So yeah, so enamel dots Just kind of going for it. I had some little heart ones. I thought would match the little typewriter real cute uh, Yeah, just going to town I always try to do like three enamel dots. I don't know. I feel like that's something a lot of people do though. So here we go. This is the end of the book. So while you're watching me flip through the pages and all that, let me go ahead and tell you guys about the giveaway. So it is open internationally. You must be a subscriber to my channel. You have to be 18 or older to enter. It ends on April 30th, midnight Pacific time. So if it's May, you're too late. I'm so sorry. And then to enter, hmm, what should we have you guys leave in the comments for entering? How about you guys tell me about the last paper crafty or happy mail type thing that you made for someone else? What kind of project was it? Why did you make it for them? I would love to know. And if you have like a link to a video of you making it or a picture of the completed thing, leave a link in your comment because I would love to totally scope out your guys' projects. I would love that so much. So leave your comments down below and that's all you have to do and on May 1st I will message the winner through YouTube messaging but that is it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you guys in my next video bye